we have here an array of concrete pots in various shapes and forms and in this video we will show you how to make this hi everyone this is Lassie of Suckle and Social and I have here with me selection of concrete pots and their molds because in today's video we'll show you how to make this well not me but I have here someone who have made thousands of this hi Alfred hi everyone all right so today we're going to make this pots why are concrete pots good for succulents um concrete concrete pots are uh, good for excel for succulents uh because of its uh nature um concrete pots are porous the material is porous so um it doesn't really retain a lot of moist uh, moisture in the soil so um and succulents love that great all right so let's start i have here with me our materials we have our molds of course of different sizes and shape and they are made of silicon we also have cement and another ma uh, tool material that we will use would be fine sand which we will mix with water and also we have cut glue sticks which we will use later on to make drainage holes all right let's start alfred would you please take us through the process okay uh, so we have the we have the uh cement here so this is um five parts and then I'll just uh, I'll be mixing the uh, eight parts of fine sand, and then um, so this uh, is just our preference for our pots to use uh, fine sand. This is uh, what worked best for our products. Mm. And and why do we need sand? Why can't we just use like pure cement? Uh, pure cement would be very brittle. Um, I, again, it will uh, obviously it will crack easily, but with an aggregate in this case a sand it will be more durable more strong no? mm. what, what type of sand do we use uh, you have a lot of options you know you have your coarse sand um, even pebbles you can use that or rocks but um because we are using small uh, we're doing small pots so we would love to have um, um fine sand to have that uh, a bit smooth finish for our products so what you just saw there is, uh, um, I just mix the uh, concrete, uh, the cement and the sand, and then I'm adding here four parts of water. All right. And then we're just going to mix them all together. Correct. So um, we'll just mix it um, with my ever-reliable spoon here. <laughs> um, we are not sponsored by this ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> they can see what our favorite ice cream flavor Okay, so when we're mixing them, what consistency are we looking for? Um, we've tried a lot of, uh, we, we did trial different um, ratios of yeah. cement, um, sand, and water. Um, what worked for us is this one, not too pasty, not too runny, but just enough for it to, um, uh, to have those. Because, you know, when you mix them, it creates bubbles. Yeah. and just enough for the bubbles to rise up when you try to um you know um pour, in. pour in pour it yeah. in yeah all right so what are we doing here now uh so what i'm doing in this pot is uh you have well i need to check what my mold is so in this case it has a lot of corners and the thing with the corners is that's where a lot of bubbles are trapped also air pockets so when i poured it in I just massage basically those corners just to kind of um, release those air pockets out of that one. So you will have a clean corner on your pots. Mm. And I can see you're not pouring, you're not filling up the whole thing at once. Yes, that's correct. I'm not pouring um, everything at once. This is uh, basically for the, uh, again, air, the air bubbles to rise up. And then basically it will um set it settles the material um evenly if i do this okay so massage and then do layer by layer yes that's correct so this is a different um mold now yes this is a different mold um uh there are no corners here so it's basically just round shaped i do still massage again because there are you know um corners there as well um 
around that circular shape, but uh, there are no pointy um, surfaces. So yeah. just a bit of massage would do, like what I'm pointing there on that gray mold. This is a bigger mold. This is a bigger mold now. Yes, this is uh, for bigger pots that we have for our products. So I would just pour, you know, about two spoon of um, concrete mix, and there I just shake, massage a bit on the, uh, on the edges, again to release those air pockets. And this molds because they're quite tall. They they actually come with what do you call it? Um, yeah, they they come with like a, a sleeve. Again, this is uh, because it's tall. Um, we don't want a deformed um, pot. So if you can see there, um, actually I'm picking up that sleeve. There it is. It's a plastic um, case. So I'll be sliding in that mold in there. So it retains the shape mm. while it's um, in the process of hardening. I see. And when we fill this up, how many days, for example, will they dry? How long will they dry? Uh, what worked for us is three days. Again, I'm using a, a, a cement here, a general cement. So this is not a quick dry. There are quick dry um, cement available in the market. But for this one, I'm just using the, uh, the standard one. So um, what worked for us is around three days. Around three days. Or in a good weather, it's about two days. And it's important to really follow those days because um, we don't want to remove them from the molds and find that they are cracked or they're not really completely dried and has a smooth finish. Uh, yes, that's right. Um, if you release it, release them from the mold too early, um, there will be cracks, especially with the, the, the mold with um, corners. You don't really have a you can't you can't get that very clean cut um, corner shape because they tend to uh, crack on those um, high stress areas. I have a question: How, Why are there air bubbles? Uh, air bubbles. Oh well, because once you uh, mix cement with water, there's a chemical reaction, and one of of um, uh, byproduct of that is um, releases gas. Okay. Yeah, there's a release of gas, and that's mm -hmm. the one that's causing the bubble. So if you look at here, the bubbles start to come up, come out of the mixture. So yeah, I just shake it, put in a bit of a um, vibration in there. <laughs> so we want um, all of the air bubbles to actually come out in the surface, so that when they dry, they're not trapped yeah. in the concrete. Yeah, we try. Uh, I mean, there are there would still be bubbles in there, but at least with this consistency, um, we can sort of. I mean, based from experience, we kind of um, release those bubbles easily because of again this consistency. I mean, if you remember before we started with um, different um, consistency, different ratio. Mm -hmm we found out that you know some of the bubbles just stay somewhere in the middle they don't have yeah. enough um not the the mixture is not too runny for them to go up to rise up, to rise up really all right so now we have filled up four molds what is our next step all right our next step here is to create that hole in the pot the drainage the hole. drainage hole so we are using um, glue stick. So these are just a normal glue stick cut in about an inch, 20, 20 mm, 25 millimeter. And then um, just poke it into the base of the concrete mix. Um, just make sure that you put all your molds in a place where you want it to be, to, to settle. So it would, that would be a flat surface. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, just put your uh, put the glue stick all the way to the base of the mold um, there will be a bit of a material um, left there when you know when it dries up but at least when it's fully pressed in it could be easier to remove the extra material mm, I see so we just put in all these um, glue sticks and then it will be a waiting game after that yes that's correct uh, 
from our experience, we, I mean, and, and my preference as well, I, I will remove the glue stick probably about after one day, mm -hmm. um, just because the material is still not hard enough, but not too soft for, for it to be uh, deformed. Mm -hmm. So I can just basically pluck those um, glue stick okay. after one day. Yeah, so we have here a sample after a day. And how do we remove this? Um, so just be very careful not to press the uh, the, the the mold too much because you don't want to deform it. And then just get a gently a bit of a wiggle and then pull it up. And that's it. Again, careful not to press too much then. Because that's, um, that's already a soft um, one from day one. No? Yep, and then this is a completely dried um, mold or sorry concrete yes that that blue mold there is the one that i did three days ago so this is ready for um to be removed, to be removed from the molds so basically i'll just you know hold on one of those hold on to one of those extra uh, mold material and then just pull it yeah. and as you can see here clean cuts um there are no excess material, very smooth finish. Well done. And <laughs> very less air bubbles. There yeah. will be air bubbles, I think, at the bottom, but that is um, inevitable sometimes. So where where is the drainage hole, though? Uh, there it is, the drainage <laughs> hole on the other side. But that's what I said, that, you know, there's an extra material on the other side of it. So A, a thin layer of um concrete will still be there correct correct so now um i have this um nail so what i'll do is just um really poke in that uh, material and just basically press it again it's a very thin layer of material so it's very easy to poke have a you know um just wiggle the nail yeah. uh turn it around and you'll create basically a circular shape hole yeah. there yeah, there we go. We have our drainage all ying. Okay, so now we have completed all of them. What is this um, sample that we're showing? Well, this is a sample that pretty much shows you that I've released it from the mold too early. Uh -huh. And look at those corners. They're not properly formed. These corners here also, again, they are stress points. So once I took out the mold, they just came with it. So... <laughs> And here we want to show you a little bit of um, options that you can do. So you can paint them. These are some of the paintings of our daughter, Lexi. And you can even use um, concrete pigment to maybe do some marble effects such as this. Yeah. And that's about it. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. We hope you learned something about making concrete pots. Thank you so much, Alfred, for showing us how to do this. No worries. <laughs> and give it a try. And if you have questions, please let us know. Hope you will like this video and please subscribe to our channel. And we'd love to show you more of our succulents video. So, bye for now, guys. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye.